Customization is about to get cooler. That's courtesy of a wood burning pen. A wood burning pen. So LA is back to show us what that is all about. What is this extremely this hot thing. pen <laughs> it's, that it's we're talking about right literally, now? Literally, it's called the scorch marker. Ooh. This is something I know we, we've done these segments about what the internet made me buy. Yes. This is the <laughs> DIY version of that segment. Okay. I have seen this in projects for the longest time on social media and was a bit of a skeptic. I'm like, does it really work? And if you're wondering, like, what does it do? Well, it basically scorches the wood after you draw on it. Okay. So you can draw and just about anything mm -hmm. and then you apply a heat gun yeah. and I created this. This is one example That's of amazing. many things that you can do. <gasps> do you know what? how much people are paying for customized how boards? How much? Tell me how much. I can't Lots get open of up money. Shop. <laughs> you and I will talk. <laughs> right? Well, you know, I love, again, as you mentioned, the customization side of this. Yeah. So I used a stencil so that I could have it very specific, the look of this. Yeah. You could freehand, you could have your kids doodle on yeah. a really cool cutting board and then use this, uh, the heat gun on it and basically etch their artwork into That's wood, cool. which is so cool. Yeah. Also, if you have a Cricut, do something customized, monograms, yeah. for great for weddings if you want to put a name or something mm -hmm. on there. So now that we know all the things we could do, let's actually do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do <laughs> so, it. So you want to start with whatever piece of wood you select, mm -hmm. making sure that, especially if it's going to be a food serving piece, yeah. that it's really nice and smooth, no splinter. So making sure that you give the surface a good sand. Always sand with the wood grain. Because in this case, when you're going to be applying an oil, if you create etch marks the other way, it's going to look like awful. It's Got really it. going to look awful. Okay. So always sand with the wood grain yep. and then give it a quick wipe down to make sure it's really nice and clean. And then you are ready to create your design with the scorch marker. All right. So in this case. You find your stencils fairly easily like online or what have Amazon. you. Amazon. I get most of them on yeah. Amazon. And there's a few different examples of one here. Here, let me hold this up so we can see it on the backing. So I actually bought like a little kit that had yeah. about a dozen in them. So you Good. can mix and match and make a whole bunch of different patterns. I'm very much in this Parisian vibe right now. Mm -hmm. So this one I selected and you can see some of it's pink and that is the scorch marker. So I will fill in some of it here. So and it colors in pink. It colors it in. So you can also tell that the stencil is actually stuck on there a little bit. I used a low tech spray adhesive to keep it positioned right. well. Nice. And you just want to fill in that stencil mark. And then essentially once it's all filled in, you peel this off to reveal the pattern. It looks kind of cool the way it is. It's cool. Right? Yeah. But now this is where the magic happens. Now, I want to mention that the marker is uh, non-toxic and food safe as well. Good. So now get yourself a heat gun. Yeah. I saw mixed reviews on this online of people saying it doesn't really work. And I tried it with a hair dryer. Hair dryer is not going to be hot enough. Okay. You will need to use a heat gun. Yeah. The other thing I realized is when I saw it online, it makes it look like it happens in a snap. This is about a five minute process that it took me. Okay. So basically you want to put it on the highest heat setting and you're going to just keep the heat moving. And this is also why it takes a little while because we're not concentrating the heat. Yeah. What I found is when I hold the, when I held it in one place for too long, the wood around it started to darken a little yeah. bit as well. Okay. So over the course of a few minutes, you will start to notice that this it smells happens. Smells like heat. Right? It smells yeah. like a barbecue. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice that this starts to happen. So we go from the pink and it'll darken up right to that charred, scorched look. Okay. Which so is it takes a really, a while. really cool. A few minutes, you yeah. can double fist, have the heat gun in one hand, a cup of coffee in the other, Take and just a break. keep it moving, right? Yeah. And so this was a floral sensor, a leaf foliage stencil that I used. And you can mm -hmm. see on the other side, ta da! Oh, how pretty that beautiful. looks, right? Imagine so pretty. giving that away as a gift, right? Such a great customizable gift. And again, if it's going to be a food safe board, yeah. I highly suggest that you invest in a food grade, not even suggest, you must. You have to. Use yeah. a food grade oil and stain. So Watco makes a really beautiful butcher block oil, yeah. but they also now have an oil with a stain in it. So you can add a little bit of color to your piece as well. So you can really richen up the Wood. This That's is the, nice. the color hazelnut. Yeah. You can also do it in a nice ebony color. And this just adds to the beautiful luster of the piece, but will also really protect the wood 
and keep give it some longevity. Right, and keep it going. And and by the way, when it comes down to, can I eat this cheese? Please. I, um, I, I did this whole segment just so I could bring in some cheese. Amazing. Right? Um, when you're washing it, yes. what do you need to think about? Hand wash with a mild soap. This is not a dishwasher project. Okay. Do not put this in the dishwasher. Right. Hand wash, and because it's a natural oil, the Watco will wear over time, mm -hmm. but you just add more. Oil and season your wood cutting boards uh, as regularly as you need to. That is a beautiful project. I love it all. And uh, like, hit that out with all the good cheese that you Bring can find, right? Let's go to.